idea of eight modes of mission is to help us understand and have a comprehensive view of biblical mission. That mission is more than one thing or more than our thing. And so we've got in our church here eight marks of mission and they're uh, here to help us avoid uh, uh, blind spots, spiritual blind spots. They're here to help us avoid uh, memory loss. So uh, the idea is that they will act as a prompt, as a reminder, as a call to action. So for example, as we engage in evangelism, uh, we don't forget church planting. Or as we serve others with uh, social action, we remember that there is a creational dimension to uh, the mission call of God upon our lives. So mission is about God sending us, his gospel people, his church into the world in the name of Jesus, in the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, for us to get caught up in his mission, in God's mission. Well, in our church, we've identified uh, eight modes of mission. They're in our, our vision document, and uh, we have them listed. Uh, being church, living as a reconciled community of God's people. And that's being a people that live out the gospel that we are taking to others. Evangelism, uh, witnessing to the good news with our words, with our works, uh, and looking for God to break through in signs and wonders. Uh, discipleship, making disciples, sent into the world to make disciples, but also that uh, ongoing whole life discipleship. Uh, church planting, which uh, is very much part of New Testament evangelism. Uh, social action, which is uh, about serving people with compassion and mercy in practical uh, gospel action. Uh, peacemaking, seeking to overcome violence and to build peace in a hostile, broken, uh, war-torn world. Uh, justice, seeking uh, God's justice in the world and being that prophetic voice uh, for, for God and for the forgotten in the world. And creation, which is the stewarding of the resources of creation. So those eight uh, modes are being church, evangelism, discipleship, church planting, social action, peacemaking, justice, and creation. Well, the answer to that is that they are all important. Uh, all important in terms of the local church uh, engaging fully in God's mission in the world, that we're, we're sent to, to, to be like Jesus and do the stuff of Jesus out in the world. The important thing, it seems to me, is that uh, we need Jesus in them all. That we don't end up doing mission without Jesus. That we don't end up doing uh, great projects and initiatives that, that are helpful to people, but um, that don't have that, that gospel cutting edge. So we, we could engage in a, in a creational environment project or a, a social action project, or we could run some events to, to build relationships and, and friendships with people, but at some point, somehow, we, we need to have that gospel cutting edge uh, within them. And, and so um, we, we need uh, these mission uh, modes, these marks of mission, to have Christ at the center of them, that they need to be a means by which we can draw attention to Jesus through them. Well, I think we would be a, a, an inside-out church. Um, caught up in God's mission, his mission in the world. And um, a writer called David uh, Pryor uh, captures it like this. Let us rigorously pursue a pattern of church life that is ruthlessly turned inside out, asking ourselves all the time how the love and light of Christ can be made as accessible as possible to those living and working around us. If we could be a inside out church, uh, engaging in God's mission in the world, that, that would be uh, a great church to be part of.